My next recommendation comes from a lot of the literature that I cover in the topics on my Udemy courses for treating loneliness and connecting with others. So people who are lonely or who lack social connections, and they're increasingly prevalent as we become more and more of a digital society, oftentimes harbor maladaptive social cognitions. And that maladaptive social cognition, which is just a fancy way of saying patterns of thought, is also referred to as a loneliness regulatory loop. What happens is we might have had a, a rejection in the past, or for whatever reason, we predict that a relationship with someone else is not going to go well, or meeting a stranger will lead to rejection, or getting intimate with someone will lead to pain. So we have these negative predictions based on our past about how interactions will occur. And these are very hard to erase. Being rejected in a primordial sense is being cut off from the tribe. And that was a life or death matter in hunter-gatherer societies. So we are programmed to feel hyper acute sensitivity to rejection. And if we're predicting rejection is going to happen, it can paralyze us and keep us from connecting with others. But these are often maladaptive. They are not accurate for the reality in the world. People will not automatically reject you. People are not always out to get you. People are not always thinking the worst of you. But we can't break those negative predictions unless we go out and test them, unless we say hello to that stranger, unless we open ourselves up in that relationship. We can't, be, we can't challenge those negative predictions and build more accurate predictions in the future unless we challenge the predictions we have currently. This can be done by just taking the information I've given you and trying to break out of your patterns if you're self-isolating. Or it can be done with the help of a therapist. Cognitive behavioral therapy is highly effective for challenging these maladaptive social cognitions.